Hey guys, today I am the freezing cold city of Berlin and um, I'm happy to share the five things that I have learned while visiting uh, that building. Behind me you have the Reichstag, the Parliament of the Federal Republic of Germany and I had the privilege to uh, have a chat here or there with some people working there. Learning number one. Well first I was a little bit surprised about the demographics in that building. I thought they let in a lot of senior visitor groups, but it's well, it was not a senior visitor group, it was actually a group of members of parliament. So the house gave a little bit of impression of a retirement home. Um, but even the younger people there, um, a lot of them, I had the impression, were um, going after the role models, um, making fun about the internet, making f the fun about digital transformation. And um, yeah, that was a little bit shocking, I have to say. Number two. But the second thing I learned is that even a lot of younger members of parliament um, are not really burning for the digital transformation and for topics of um, innovating the country and the whole continent, um, but a lot of other political topics dominate their agenda. Number three. Well, we live in interesting times, that's for sure. So, um, a lot of topics besides digital transformation, the internet, upload filter, YouTube thing, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, social media, are actually dominating uh, the agenda of uh, the members of parliament here in Berlin. Number four. But to be quite honest, of course, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I think it's not a train. Uh, I think it's a, a group of young and young-minded members of parliament that really are interested in the modernization of the country uh, and the modernization of Europe, that are really, really understanding uh, what is necessary actually to build infrastructure that fosters um, business models and companies on top of that, that have no problem speaking out uh, about the problems um, and topics um, uh, of the country and the consequences of AI, the consequences uh, in the insurance and finance sector but that really really well understand it and that are bold enough to actually also say things in public. Big big problem is most of them are not in power yet I hope. Number five. Well I strongly believe uh, it is our duty to um, not only complain about things and say oh why aren't they not doing the stuff that we want. I think we all should once in a while visit our local um, member of parliament even maybe he's not on our party. I think we should not only visit them, the local ones, but our friends that are sitting in parliament and um, really really go out there and share your story, share your perspective and maybe we can have with that have a little influence. So if you made it to here it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for a newsletter so we can give you all the hottest newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.